Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix series update for Windows 10 version 22H2, which is currently available now as of yesterday in my part of the world uh, on the 11th of July. It's available now in the release preview channel and also in the beta channel. And as I've mentioned uh, previously, we have a new beta channel, which I have posted on for Windows 10. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like to play catch up. And just a quick reminder, Microsoft says that the beta channel and release preview channel will receive the same Windows 10 builds, but the beta channel is where they will try out new features with insiders that they're working on and are not ready yet for all Windows 10 customers. So just keep that in mind regarding the beta channel. Now, because this next optional update, which is KB5040525, uh, is uh, in its final stages of testing in the Insider program with the Release Preview Channel Insiders. If we head to our calendar, I would suggest that this update will roll out starting Tuesday, the 23rd of July, 2024. So Microsoft always rolls those optional bug fix uh, updates out in the fourth week of every month. So um, I would suggest we'd start getting this update starting the 23rd of July. Now, this next optional update, if you do decide to install it, the OS build will be bumped up to 19045.4713 or somewhere in that immediate point release vicinity. The point releases do vary from release preview, from when they're in preview and when they make it to stable, they do vary a little bit. Now, first of all, if you do find yourself in the beta channel of Windows 10, and Microsoft say they are beginning to roll out a fix where you will see the search box on your secondary monitors when the setting for search on the taskbar is set to search box. So as you may well know, if you head up, you can click on hidden show search icon, show search box. So they're beginning to roll out that fix if you do find yourself in the beta channel. And Microsoft is rolling out the following fixes for both the beta and release preview channels. And this in effect now, will be our next optional bug fix C release update. Now, just to let you know at the get-go that at this stage, there are no front-facing features. It's purely um, fixing issues um, that are taking place under the hood, so to speak. And we get 10 main bug fixes and improvements that have rolled out with this optional update now in release preview. Now, if you do want to stick around, I'm just going to go through six of the main fixes um, because obviously this is a bug fix non-security update. So if you do want to stick around, um, they've addressed an issue with the print support app and we actually get two uh, print and printing issues that have been addressed. So the first is with the print support app. So when you use the app with a USB device, the app stops responding and does not print. And apparently this issue also limited the functions of the user interface. So that's a print fix. And the next one is they've addressed an issue with universal print clients. Apparently, they were failing to communicate with the universal print service. And this was affecting, obviously, printing functions. And I have noticed that with these optional updates that do roll out um, at the end of every month, Microsoft does address um, printing and print problems almost on a monthly basis. Now, the Windows Defender Application Control, WDAC for short, has received its own set of bug fixes and there are three that have ro rolled out for WDAC and the first is quite uh, important because the update prevents a stop error which is a blue screen of death that occurs when you apply more than 32 policies and the second is a memory leak which is also an important fix because this is obviously a memory leak is when a, um, an application or component is using more memory than it should so that's a bit of a performance uh, increase so they've fixed a memory leak that occurred that might exhaust system memory as time goes by. And um, this issue apparently occurs when you provision a device. And then the third one for WDAC is apparently it was failing to verify the policies of some apps. So those are three um, fixes that have rolled out for Windows Defender application control. And then uh, just three more main fixes to go through. They've rolled out a fix for the Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list file. Apparently, this update adds uh, to the list of drivers that are at risk of bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. 
And then they've also addressed an issue with Windows Backup. Apparently, it was failing sometimes. And Microsoft says that this was occurring when a device had an extensible firmware interface system partition. And the last one, um, they actually fixed a known issue, which is DHCP option 235. And Microsoft says that some Windows devices use this option to find Microsoft connected cache nodes in their network. Um, and they mentioned that you might not be able to use these nodes when you find them. And instead, these devices download updates and apps from the public internet. And because of this, download traffic increases. So that was a known issue. And that's going to be addressed in our next optional update, DHCP option 235. So that's just fix, sorry, that's just six main bug fixes out of the 10 that I thought you may be interested in. Not too much exciting, so to speak, going on in our next optional bug fix C release update. But nonetheless, just putting it out there to keep, keep you guys posted and in the loop. And that will be KB5040525 that will be rolling out for Windows 10 over the next week or so. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.